Live golfer Phil Mickelson, let's take a look at the swing that's allowed him to make a boatload of cash. In the setup and the early stages of the backswing, there isn't really a whole lot I want to point out. But as he works this club into late backswing, you'll start to see that that club shaft gets very laid off. In this position here, it looks like that shaft is pointing significantly far to the right. But as he gets to the top of the swing, this shaft alignment will reroute, and he'll almost get it a little bit across the line at the top. Now obviously it's a very long backswing, something that is not very common with most tour players. The more important part is that when he transitions into the downswing is that this glove hand, so the lead wrist or right wrist for Phil's case, is going to work into extension, meaning that the knuckles curl towards the top part of the forearm. And what that's going to do is it's going to steepen this club shaft. So the shaft here looks significantly vertical compared to other players. And it also opens up this club face. You'll see in this frame here that the club face is quite open. But Phil manages that well into the later part of the downswing as his right wrist will work into flexion and that club face will start to close. Although it is still not closed dramatically, it is still much more closed than what it was. As he gets into the hitting zone, I wanna point out that because he still has an open club face that he is going to need to get this left hand to roll over the right hand and get a lot of release. So you'll see that his left arm straightens and that left hand is overtaking the right hand, meaning that there is a lot of closure to the club face. Phil obviously does an extremely wonderful job of managing the club face, although there is potential that this is the reason why his driving has never been that good in his career. However, it's pretty hard to argue considering how well he has played during his whole career and how well he has been able to play in majors and make an absolutely insane amount of cash and still doing it at the ripe old age of 52 years old.